Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vinny. I'm back another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. So if you guys enjoyed, turn like, like, comment, subscribe, and donate to Patreon. Come on, start shall we? In this one, we are going to travel through Route 9. And we're going to get some pretty interesting stuff here. So let's just go deep down, and then we should get the interesting... Oh yeah, we can fish. Why, not, why am I fishing? Axe is up first. Now. I I instinctively clicked that before I looked at it. Artillery, goddammit. You know, there's actually an ice... Oh, right, I forgot. So, <laughs> small off topic from what I was about to say. Anyways, um, so I said in the last one... I forgot to heal. I said in the last one that we had an ice-type gym. Not an ice-type gym. A dark-type gym coming up. A gym that I am not prepared for because the only person on my team that can handle a dark-type gym is Axel because he's the only one here that has something strong against them. And uh, as evidenced by my fighting style... I'm 95% sure we're gonna walk into that place to die. Why does the Super Potions have a star next to it? I'm gonna just do this preemptively because she, she's a fisherman, so I'm 95% sure she has water types. So I'm gonna just do this. Meaning a trainer at a spot, etc, etc. Please have water types, there's reason for me to uh, set Bolt Tund up first. But anyways, oh yeah, Baraskua. Oh no, it's this thing. No, 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 a thousand times no. Oh, okay, well, spark. Just spark. Please kill it in one hit. Please kill it in one hit. Okay, thank god. I hate this thing. Because I forgot if this is the evolved form of the thing I hate, or if this is the non-evolved form of the thing I hate. But whatever, whichever one it is, the reason I hate it is because it is extremely freaking fast. Either that or just spams Aquagen on me 95% of the time. But god, it is freaking annoying. I hate it. I want it to die. And every time I see one... Oh, god damn it, you have Bolt Absorb. Well. Right, that's my other problem with this team. This team has no coverage, and I'll go back to the Dark Type thing in a second. But the, the problem with this team here is every Pokemon on this team, because I like to have every move have Stab Bonus, even though I don't care for Stab, it just happens to be that way. I have coverage on one type and one type alone. For example, Bolt here, thankfully I don't have enough electro type moves to make it so that he's focused on only one type, because if he was, then he would only be useful against like Pokemon. And if he was all electro type moves right now, then this Lantern I'd be fighting would just win because I would eventually just struggle out with all of my moves. But it would wipe out my HP long before I could do that. So, oh my god, and it's gonna hit myself in confusion. That's great. And same with Axel. Axel has double kick, he has three fire type moves, he's essentially a one-trick pony, and same with everyone else on my team. And the next gym is gonna be a real challenge, because... Well, it's not necessarily a challenge, but it's annoying, is what it is. And, like, dark type in particular, um, where my only two counters are straight up Axel and Guzma, who is neutral on them, but makes all their moves not super effective, yeah, I don't really have much choice, and I could actually teach Axel Bounce right now for a counter against fighting type moves. But uh, I'm about to get a Pokemon anyways that has a counter to fighting type, and I already have a counter to fighting type, so I don't really need another counter to fighting type as long as I have a counter to a fighting type, which is all that matters to me. So yeah, that that's my logic. I know that's dumb logic, but I'm gonna stick with it because I'm just a dumb person. So let's continue with this journey, shall we? Oh, hi, it's a Pelipper. Oh, it's a group of Pelippers. Oh, God, it's three of them. Oh, God, it came over here. Oh, I thought it was going to go further, actually. Huh, I'm surprised it didn't come for me. Hi, trainer. See, I'm just going to battle all these trainers at once because, uh, might as well. I want the experience because, um, well, Darumaka. Oh, it's going to be the ice one. Yeah, anyways, uh, I want the experience just to make my team more leveled up because if you didn't see the last one, we did struggle to beat Hop. And while, yeah, I think that's more my stupidity and my team being under-leveled, I don't want to take that chance for the next gym. Especially because straight up, like, the next gym is one of my least favorites. And it's not, like, not in terms of, like, what happens there. It is just the gym, like, the fight is my least favorite thing to deal with is what I'm getting at here. And it's not the worst. Because there is one more gym that I hate more with a burning passion, both in the entirety of this game and just in general. But, like, you know, it's a thing. I don't want to have to deal with it. So, during the next gym, if I remember to, I will try to level up my team to even level 
Like, I know Axel's over level, so I'll probably level them all up to one level under Axel, just to make absolute sure I can stay on target, which is another thing I hate about this game. Why are all the trainers lower level than the actual gym leaders? Like, okay, the gym trainer is fine, but like the trainers after you fight the gym leaders, they're still lower level for the most part. Like, why? What's the point? Or like, maybe I'm dumb and they are actually on the same level, if not slightly higher, but like, which I doubt, but okay. I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb and I'm not realizing it, but anyways. On to Route 9, Sir Chester Bay, where we have something important happening. There's no way we're letting you anywhere near Spike Month, and that means we can't let you go on to Route 9. It's Team Yale's duty to cheer on these lovely Dreadnought, and we also get to stop people from heading out over the water. Bye bye -eat. Yes, I understand. All I'm saying is that I can't make it so, so that Rotom bikes can ride on water. Why? We meet again, my young gym challenger friend. Remember me? I gave you that bike. So, do you think you could do me another favor and teach these ruffians a lesson or two? It's our duty to protect Dreadnought, and that means you're gonna need to give up on the gym challenge. You look like you need convincing, so how about a Pokemon battle? Yes. I'll send you packing for the sake of Dreadnought, of course. I have a Dreadnought on my team. Maybe my Dreadnought can talk to this Dreadnought, see what it needs, you know, maybe get him to move out of the way a bit. Because, like, I'm not trying to get in his way. I just want to move out of the way and go straight to Spike Muff. And clearly, there was, like, an open path that they would move their asses. That would be helpful a lot. But anyways, back on the topic I was saying earlier. Oh, great, this thing is four times weak to double kick, so if I just hit it first, I win. Right? In theory? Wow, almost one shot. Great. Okay, anyway, why are people... Why are there lounge chairs out here? Since when is this place sunny? It look there's literally ice in the background. Okay, sure, people are crazy. Anyways, like to go on with what I was saying earlier, we do have okay, this might actually be a challenge, but like we do have a possible fighting type to add to the team in this route. It's an octopus, and we can get it on this route. My thing is though, I don't want it, and I already have a team member saved for a slot, and uh Unless I'm willing to get rid of someone temporarily, which I hate doing. I hate temporarily getting uh, Pokemon off my team and then adding them back on just to win a gym battle. I hate that. It's one of my least favorite things. So I'm not going to do it even if it is just to win. Don't worry, actually, you're fine. You can battle on. Apparently, you have Bullet Punch. I didn't know that. And, um, please tell me it only hits once. Okay, it does. Anyways, so yeah, if I really wanted to make it easier on myself, I could just... Explore more of this route and then wait till I find the fighting type, which frankly isn't going to be that hard. You can very much see it in the water, especially because we're going to have to travel on water in this route. Spoiler alert, he did say we're going to make the Rotom Bike water base. God, he's going to ride the Dreadnought. Wait, we're going to ride Dreadnought? Dreadnought, why didn't you tell me? Oh wait, I've got an idea. We can get away on Dreadnought first and ride it away. All right, going to move on, Dreadnought. See you later, Gym Challenge. Bye-bye. Uh, wait, Dread... That, well, Dreadnought just said, fuck them. Oh, no, they're going with... Why did I... Wait, I can just do that, too, then. Seems you come to my aid yet again. How's cycling life been treating you? Are you having fun? Wouldn't it be great if you could ride your Rotom bike on water, too? That's why I'm allowing you to add these special parts, allowing to travel through the water surface, just for you. Thank you, kind sir. All right, all right. With the Rotom bike water mode, you'll cruise across the water like a Pokemon with Swift Swim. By the by, when you're riding on land, we'll call it land mode. So there's land mode and water mode, and here's what it means by this. It will- oh, I thought it would automatically- By the way, there's that fire tap I was talking about right there, that octopus motherfucker. So, if I just do this, and yep, it immediately changes to water mode. Now, oh, well, that's cool. Anyways, here's my thing. Um, as much as I want to- okay, I don't want to get assaulted here. As much as I, like, want to do this route right now, um, there is a smaller thing that we have to do, and that is unfortunately- Say bye bye to our good teammate, uh, what's his name? Revan, Noibat, the, Revan the Noibat, cause, um, we're gonna go to the wild area. Yep. We're going to the wild area. Cause now we can travel on water. And here's my thing. The last Pokemon we need to add to our team, we could only attain it if we traveled by water. So, um, also, that's a cool ass bell tower back there in the background. Oh, god, hey, I'm Pheasant. I haven't seen you in ages. But, uh, yeah, so, I guess we're gonna go get our last teammate now. I think this is the way I go to get him, right? Like, her, it, whatever gender it's gonna end up being. I'm not really sure. I'll get this item then. Energy root. I mean, either way, I'm coming over here anyway. Ah! 
I'm sorry, that was a bit of an overreaction. Because if you don't know, Gyarados normally swim in these areas. I thought I was about to get attacked by a Gyarados when like that water popped up. And I was like, oh god, it's a Gyarados. Okay, just gotta go around. And the second I saw it jump up, I was like, oh great Scott, it's a Gyarados, run! But it's not, thank god. I, I, I need to be careful because I don't want to run into a Gyarados. As I say, a Gyarados is going to pop up in front of me, I know it is. But there's a small thing I want to do, and that is get our teammate, who we can only unlock over here. They will appear at some point, I don't know when. But also, oh, speak of the devil, the fighting type we saw earlier is back. Anyways, oh, focus. So that might actually be helpful. But anyways, in this area, as you can see, we can get every evolution stone here. We can get the Dawn Stone. We can get the Shiny Stone. We can get the Fire Stone. Okay, that's the Dust Stone. I'm dumb. This should be the Fire Stone, though. Or it might be the next one that's the Fire Stone. Oh, I was right. It is the Fire Stone. Cool. Then we can get the Thunder Stone. Then we can get the Water Stone. Yep, Water Stone. Then we get this Stone, Leaf Stone. Okay. Oh, it's a Ninetales. Speak of the Devil. We get a bunch of stones. Ice Stone to evolve Ice types, obviously. I wish Eevee evolved by Ice Stone. Oh, <gasps> Flareon! Oh, you can find the Eevees here. Wait. Wait. Okay, no, it's just the end of a path. I was about to say, if you could get here the whole time, why did I wait so long to come get this dragon type? Oh my god, don't tell me it's down there I'm supposed to go. Um. Is it anywhere nearby? Okay, so many garlics. Um. Did I go the right way? Did I take a wrong turn? I see a bunch of nine tails. What is that? Nope, nothing I'm looking for. I can tell by the way it's walking. Actually, what if that was it? What if, what if it was, though? What is that? I can't tell. What? That's a Rhydon? BS! That ain't no fucking Rhydon that was hiding in that I don't know what that was. I don't think it was the thing I'm looking for, though. I really hope it's not the thing I'm looking for, because if it is, I'm going to be really upset with myself. Okay, what is it? What is it actually? Okay, it's this thing. Durant. Oh god, it's super strong too. What level is it? Can I just kill with Axel, worst case scenario? Because uh, I might just kill with Axel. Yep, not happening. I mean, I may be quad super effective on it, but I ain't taking that risk on Axel. So, uh... We're gonna quickly go to the other place that I'm pretty sure I can find it at, because apparently there was two of them. Uh, what's the button? It's B, right, okay, cool. So, I think this is the place. I may have gone the wrong way the first time, but I think this is it. I really want this Pokemon, so I'm willing to go out of my way for it, because it's something more or less important to me. Okay, is it here? I know I can find its evolve form here. Okay, I see a Golurk. I see a Ninetales, I see another Golurk. Okay, I got Shadow Claw. No, this is the right place, right? Like, I'm not crazy. This is it, and I'm just not seeing it. Because it's supposed to fly around, right? Oh god, that's terrifying. Ooh, okay. Again with the freaking Rhydons, man. Where is it? Seriously. Like, I'm not even joking anymore. Where's the Pokemon I'm trying to find? Like, did I waste my time coming here? I mean, the episodes are, like, okay, well, right. Uh, well, I guess we'll get berries first. And then I guess after I get my berries, I'm gonna look up how to find it. Okay, so, we'll, no, we'll quit there. And then, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go look up how to find this thing, unless it's in the vicinity and I'm just dumb. Yeah, okay, so I'll be right back. So, apparently, the thing I'm looking for is... Freaking 5% encounter rate, and I don't know how to see it. So, like, yeah, that's not it. That's just a ditto. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed. Okay, there's the Gyarados I thought about earlier. Okay, so we're gonna go back to this side of the Lake of Outrage because I'm in, I'm in the right place, I believe, unless I'm going back to the wrong side of this island. But I'm 95% sure this is where you find it but it's a 5% rate of finding it. Good news is if I find it, on the rare chance that I do, it's gonna be immediately added to the team, even higher level than Axel. But that implies that I'm able to catch it too, which I don't know if that's possible or not, since it's like, you know, I, I, I should probably be doing the grass encounters too, because 
If I do the grass encounters, that might increase my chance of seeing. Oh god, there are so many of these things. Just running through the grass, trying to find it. There we go. Damn, still not here. Like, I don't know. I might just give up. I honestly might just give up, because I'm not so sure, even if I do find it, if I can catch it. Because, like, I believe it's like, oh fuck, Iron Head's gonna not be fun. Yeah, because I think the max level I'm allowed to catch up to right now isn't 60. Oh my god, what's with you and Iron Head? I'll run around this place three more times. And if I don't find it, then I'll just give up. But I, I want to at least try. Oh god, it's the Nine Tails. I don't count that. That doesn't count. That was just me being dumb. Can I escape, please? Because I don't want to lose all my team members due to my stupidity. It's very strong looking. Was not as strong as that Durant, though. Okay, I'm going to get out of the grass real quickly to make sure I don't run into something again. Okay, does the Dreepy want to show up? Actually, it might be in that Gigantamax spot over there. It's doubtful. Oh, God! I saw it. I tried running. We all saw me trying to run. Oh, my God. This is the one thing I hate about rare Pokemon that I like to add to my team. It's the fact that I can literally never find them. I'm not even doing it because I think it's good. I'm doing it because I really want to add it to my team, and the game's being a little bit of a bitch by not adding it to my team. Okay, I think that's you. Come on, show up, show up, show up, show up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know you can see me. I'm sorry, I can find you here? Well, we found a freaking Colossal at random. This is a high level area. I might just run, uh... If I find this thing, okay, so that's one encounter that counts. That's a Durant again. Stop with the strong ass looking Durants. Give me the one Pokemon I'm trying to find. I, all I want is the one Pokemon. If I don't find it on this next one, I will just give up and I will work on it off screen. And this will just mark the end of the episode. Okay, that doesn't count clearly. Oh my God, is that in the corner? Wait, was that in the corner and I saw it? I don't know. I don't want to take chances. We're gonna run. I'm gonna see if it's in the corner. I'm immediately running to it. Oh, bull can smell familiar scent. Okay, yeah, that's probably because we just fought those nine tails. Okay, the Durant's coming back for round two. Oh my god, another Durant. I just want the damn thing. Once more, these don't count because I can actively see them walking in front of me and the bike's just being annoying. Okay, we're gonna give it one more try. It, whatever this is, whatever the next Pokemon is, as long as I didn't see it coming, that's what it's going to be, and then I'm just going to end it there. Unless it's the thing I need, and then I'm going to catch it, and then I'm going to end it. So you know what? Let's do this, because that grass is fucking crawling with those things. Oh, okay, I almost got assaulted by Ninetales. Wait, was that it? The... No, that's a lantern, never mind. Frick you. Okay, we're going to go over here. Is it in here? Where the Ninetales go? Oh, they're, they're there. That's a Ditto. That's a Durant. Okay. At least I made him come out of there. Where's the octopus? Oh, there's the octopus. Okay, well, let's go into the grass and randomly find it. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Run into something. Can you not run into Pokemon anymore in the grass? Am I crazy for trying this? Oh my god, you know, yeah, I just give up. I, I give up. I fucking give up at this point. Like, there's no reason to keep trying. It's not gonna show up. It really isn't. I'll keep trying for like a day, but I'm gonna cut it all out. So, I'm ending here. I hope you guys enjoyed. In the next one, hopefully I will have this new teammate that I'm desperately trying to find. And if I don't, then well, depression happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't like, subscribe, don't Patreon. Join us court, follow us, I'll see you all next one. Don't forget to check us out. I'm gonna go